covering up the bald spots I've been left with since having a baby. Don't even get me started on baby hairs. What? What is that? No. Huge spider. Good God. This place is disgusting. Hi hey guys. Welcome. Welcome back. Today I just want to play with makeup. I took a little over a week off. It felt like way longer than that. So when I came down to my desk earlier today, I don't know, it motivated me. So I'm going to play with the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette again. I'm not doing the colorful side yet. I will do that as my part two to the last video. I'm gonna stick with the neutrals for this because I have a few other products that I wanna test out as well today. If I wind up using something that I'm not testing, I'm just gonna skip over it and you can find a list of everything I've used in the description box below. All right, if this sounds like something you wanna see, then stick around. If you're into this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, the first thing we're trying, Pure sent this little sample. Uh, it's the Pure No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. So I got this when I ordered the Raw Beauty Christie collab. I don't smell anything yet. Oh, is this too much? Okay, well, we'll do this. Ooh. It actually kind of looks like my Revlon Rose Glow that I love. Just a little bit more white. Cool. Cool. Well, yeah, that's probably a bit too much. It's okay. Oh, well, is it okay? I feel like I'm trying to rub sunscreen into my face. I kind of look like the Tin Man. I wasn't expecting any kind of glow from that primer. I believe I have it all rubbed in. Not something I'm testing, but this is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. Right after I say I'm not gonna talk about things that I'm not reviewing. What can I say? Okay, this primer, it's gold. That's what it is. It's like a gold cast. Do you see that all over my hands? I don't know about that. Okay, I'm gonna apply the foundation using my e.l.f. swirly foundation brush, but I did not put it directly in the center. It's moments like these that I wish I had AirPods. There are many more moments that I wish I had AirPods, but specifically this. So that I wouldn't have to sit in silence while I do this. So I don't know if this is the primer that I should attribute this to, but I feel like my skin's looking really good, particular, per, particularly right in by my nose. I'm also noticing that I'm a bit crusty in the brow region. I noticed that started with the primer. Look at that, my brows are magically on now too. All right, so I'm going into a little bit less detail this time since I've already tested out this side. I'm using my whole heart, the lightest shade as a base from crease to brow. All right, now I'm going in with my Morphe M433, dipping into Camelot, this like mustardy yellow color. I'm taking that above the crease. And I'm going in with my Morphe M506 into copper boxes and I'm taking that right into the crease as well. I'm not lifting that shade up quite as high because I want it to transition into Camelot. All right, and then with a fluffy flat brush, I'm going into the color B and I'm going to pack that all over the lid. And I want to make sure I'm taking it right up to the crease shade. Okay, then with my finger, oh my god, my finger that still looks like a golden tin man from that primer, I'm going into Told You. Pack that right on the center. All right, for my under eye, I'm going in with my Morphe M456. Going back into Camelot. Packing that under my lash line. Then I'm using my Morphe M506 into Told You. All right, this is the next product that we're trying out. It's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's waterproof. All right, so it reminds me of the KVD Tattoo Liner, which I like. So we're gonna do a big wing today. This is applying really nicely. I would say it's definitely comparable to the KVD Tattoo Liner. Ferk. Well, it doesn't come off easily if you mess up, so there's that. <sighs> Doing the exact same thing on my other eye is honestly the bane of my existence. How am I gonna get these wings to match up? Quick answer, I'm not. Are these looking even a little bit the same? I don't care. Just taking some of Camelot again, going up by the wing. Same thing with Told You, up by the wing. 
Okay, I'm gonna throw on some mascara before I do my lashes. By lashes, I mean false lashes, which is not obvious to anyone other than me. Oh, to quickly sum up the eyeliner there. It applies well, like any other common liquid liner, but it does have sort of a reflective finish. I would prefer if it looked a bit more matte. I am going to try out the other pair of false lashes I got with the collection, so the can't be bothered. So this band is not invisible like the last one, it seems. Definitely a thicker band, so I am happy that I went with a thick liner today so that I don't have to worry about blending them together. And they're huge, so be prepared for that. Okay, these are actually so, so pretty. They're so fluffy, I could die. So fluffy, I'm gonna die! It's so fluffy! Despicable Me reference. Nobody else. All right. I cannot believe how much I like these lashes. Oh my god, why are they so pretty? I mean, my hands are still stained gold from that primer, but pure killed it with the lashes at least. Okay, I need to do everything else. I'll be right back. All right, the last thing that we're gonna test out is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight. This is more of a kind of champagne-y tone. And it picks up a little bit chunky, but... Oh, that's actually really nice. It's a little on the shimmery side, but I kind of have come to expect that from drugstore highlights. Okay guys, that's it. The finished look. I'm happy with the overall look. I even matched my eyeshadow to my sweater. My absolute favorite part of this look are the lashes. Is the lashes? Are the... I love the lashes. <sighs> Seriously? You couldn't wait like two more minutes? I'm pretty impressed with the highlight as well. I'll wear it again when I can be in natural daylight and we can check that out. I'm thinking I don't love the primer. Again, my hands are still shiny and gold. And overall, I just feel a little bit more cakey maybe today. Not like significantly more, but... All right, that's everything. Thanks for hanging out with me while I played with this stuff. I will be back and filming at least two more videos this weekend, and they'll probably go up next week. But yeah, I hope you found that interesting, or at the very least, I hope it helped to kill some time if that's what you were trying to do. And I hope to see you back at some point. Bye! Oh. <laughs> well, I still have told you and primer all over my fingers, apparently. <sighs> Good times.